All right, in health news tonight, a first-time study shows access to primary care in our state is at a critical level. Plus, a major finding in the genetic makeup of an autoimmune disease affecting thousands here in Connecticut. News Channel 8's Jocelyn Mementa is here now with the details. Jocelyn? Sonia, I'm talking about multiple sclerosis. A Yale researcher has made a major discovery that could lead to new therapies for patients. Neurologist Dr. David Haffler is being recognized for his research that could change the lives of patients with multiple sclerosis. We've discovered virtually all the common genes that lead to risk of developing MS. That's significant because there is a genetic component to MS, an autoimmune disease that attacks the central nervous system. Dr. Haffler says the research will now focus on identifying the rarer genes and how to apply the genetic advances to patient care. The next step is we have these genes, what are their functions? Um, do they involve, what are the pathways? Because if we know what the pathways are, then we can target those pathways. The eventual treatment of MS, in my mind, will be screening everyone at birth, identifying who's at risk for developing MS, and then preventing it from starting. That's good news for people like Helen Langello. It is very exciting to see where science has taken us over the last three years. Helen has MS, which is progressing slowly. Memory loss is, is one of the major things that I deal with, but um, I do go for yearly MRI scans. And um, I've had several years where there's been no activity, but uh, just this year I did have some activity on my MRI scan, which signals that it, you know there's a slight progression there. But it's not slowing her down. Helen and her team, Helen's Heroes, will take part in the annual Walk MS on April 18th. And that's Sunday, April 18th, rain or shine. There are 10 sites for the 2010 Travelers Walk MS in the state. The money goes to research and services for people with MS. For more information, log on to our website, WTNH.com.